So, let's buckle up before the car has a heart attack. So, ran into a little problem. Uh, it's been monsoon raining all day. So, kind of throws a wrench in my plans of want to go get some footage at the beach or something because I figured I went to the riverfront last time. You know, what's South Florida without the beach, right? Right now, I'm gonna run a couple errands. Uh, I need to drop some stuff off at the land center. I don't have my sunglasses. What's this? Got my wife's sunglasses. There we go. I'm gonna go to five below right now. It's basically kind of like, instead of a dollar store, it's like a $5 store. All right, so let's run in. Let's run in. Let's get this real quick. Right, took some digging around, but I found one in black is what I wanted. Now uh, I'm just gonna keep running some errands. So Saturday, kind of a crapshoot as far as going and doing something. Uh, I'm going to try to go to the movies tonight. Uh, just haven't had a chance to go see John Wick 3 yet. So that's kind of going to be the plan since I couldn't go do anything today because it was raining so hard. Hopefully tomorrow is a little better. To the movies tonight, uh, just haven't had a chance to go see John Wick 3 yet, so that's kind of going to be the plan since I couldn't go do anything today because it was raining so hard. Hopefully tomorrow is a little better. Alright, just pulling into Walmart now. Alright, so at Walmart, it's a brand called Pure Balance. It's actually made by the company that makes the shitty Old Roy uh, brand, but they have their own premium brand. And chicken and pea recipe, no corn, wheat, soy, grain ingredients, grain free. It's really good stuff. Uh, the cheapest one they have, I think, is uh, chicken and brown rice. It's like a 14, 15 pound bag. And uh, it usually costs about $16. This one's a 12 pound, 11 pound bag for 16. It's really good. Chicken, chicken meal, dry peas potato you know it's all it's all really really good stuff highly recommend this brand it's what makes Zeus as handsome as he is In the hell, Liberty Brew. 50 flavors in one. No way that this is this is any good. Like what, it doesn't even tell me what, 50 flavors of what? Since I'm going to the movies, might as well get the same exact candies that they sell at the movies but for a third of the price. If you're not sneaking in your own snacks to the movies, are you really, are you really even living? All right, so I got the essential. For myself, or for my wife, I guess we'll go first. Milk duds, juicy fruits. I don't know, she really likes those. Anything that has a chance to get, that you're playing black licorice, Russian roulette, I'm not on board with. Uh, raisinets, because the, the trick is take some, take a raisinette, eat it with a, with some popcorn at the same time. Good. And I usually get a box of Sour Patch Kids or Swedish Fish. They didn't have either one of those, so I got a big bag of Big Pouch. Uh, big Pouch, what? Big Sour Patch. It's two times bigger than the original Sour Patch Kids. So, you know, that, that'll have to do. Uh, yeah, look at this shirt. Yeah, I'm feeling that. 
I always buy really dumb shirts and then my wife gets upset. This one got flamingos on it. Yo, these are some nice shirts. So, just unloading stuff here in the car. Actually, I'll put that in. Check this thing. It's like a bunch of cameras watching. I don't know if they're actually doing anything, but. Uh, so, just left Walmart. Had a young lady stop me as I came outside trying to buy Sentel ring pops in a basket. Said, No, I'm okay. I don't have any cash. My excuse always just is, I don't have any cash on me. Said, You could just donate a soda. Because she saw I had the Cokes and stuff. And I said, uh, Nah, I'm alright. And then, as I was alone in my car, another girl that was obviously with her had a basket of ring pops. And asked me to buy them. They're trying, trying to like. I thought they're like a fundraiser or something. It's like, no, you're just people in a parking lot selling ring pops. So weird. Who, buy, who would want to buy a ring pop anyway? So me and Jennifer are finally in. It took us at least 20 minutes to buy our tickets and get snacks. Either they were, didn't have enough people selling tickets or the, just no one at the concession stand had any sense of urgency. What? Just leaving the movies. What did you think? Oh, That's John Wick. Uh, I would say if, if you like the other two John Wicks, you'll like this one. My only complaint in the theater was further down our row was his family, but they couldn't speak in a whisper. So when they did, they didn't speak the whole time, but when they did speak, it was just full volume, like outside voice. So that was kind of strange. Like they just hadn't full boisterous voices whenever they decided to say something. Yeah. So, it's now Sunday. Uh, my plan was to go to the beach today, but as you can see, there's no sunlight because it's been raining the last two days. But I think I'm just gonna stop by on the way to having to go drop some stuff off at, uh, at, at my job anyway. So, may not be sunny South Florida, but I'll show you some South Florida. All right, we're here at the beach. Um, as you can see, whoa, hello. As you can see, there's no sun. Uh, there's still a lot of people out here as far as it goes. It is like 85 degrees out still with humidity. Uh, as you can see right here, this is a sea turtle nesting spot. When they find eggs, they put barricades around them to keep all the lights off around here. And, uh, that is how they protect them. Uh, also over here and here and here, these these are big old cargo ships that are waiting to get into the port of uh, Port Everglades, and so they just sit out there for a long periods of time until they get in. Uh, I have a feeling that this is probably hard to hear with traffic going by occasionally. So um, I don't know. I guess I'll find out later when I look at it on the computer. But I'll do a proper, like, Fort Lauderdale beach visit when the sun's out and I'm not going to get rained on. Uh, so there's plenty of people out in the water. You know, the, the water here is uh, always really warm. Uh, I'm originally from Maryland. I moved 
Let me, let's go, let's go this way, hold on. Let's get away from the cars for a second. Sea turtle nest, do not disturb. It's Florida, protected by Florida law and all that. You see there's one there, one there. There's uh, more as you go down. It's a very popular, this beach is very popular this time of year for sea turtle nesting. They come up, bury their eggs, and then uh, they turn off all these, they keep all these street lights off and they have like reduced lighting, special lights. Um, so that that way when the, when the sea turtles are born, they, I, I guess they're supposed to go towards the moon into the ocean and they get super confused that there's lights everywhere. Um, this is more of like the quiet part of the beach because there's not much parking. Uh, further down here on actual, like more of downtown Fort Lauderdale area, there's uh, a lot more people, a lot more parking. But like I was saying about myself, uh, you know, I originally moved here when I was 12, I think, with my mom and my dad from up uh, up in Maryland. Um, pretty much my mom was tired of being cold, but the the lowest temperature that the water gets here, I don't know, I don't have the exact numbers. Uh, the lowest temperature that the water gets here is higher than the highest it w the water temperature would be up in Ocean City, Maryland. Uh, oh, look, this dude is over here. Uh, He's enjoying himself out there. Hold on. Let's see on a paddleboard. Look how calm the water is today. We usually don't get a lot of waves anyway. You have to kind of go to West Palm if you're like into surfing or anything like that. But it's really calm out there today. Um, so yeah, moved here when I was 12. Been here ever since. I'm now uh, 33. Wait. Now 34. I have two dogs. My beautiful wife, Jennifer, that you met yesterday. You've only seen Zeus. You haven't met Sashi yet, I don't think. Uh, we also have a cat named Charlie, which he hangs outside a lot of the time. And yeah, running the Land Center. Um, I guess I'll go more into detail about the Land Center maybe on the next one. And hopefully next weekend, um, it's not raining, so I can actually do some more stuff outside. This is, it was pouring like all day today. I actually stopped by, show you guys the beach. I came to this quiet spot, just like a park right off the road here. and come in uh try to find something new each weekend to go and go and do hopefully get a proper beach video made with some sunshine what the hell is this how i'm starting my work week off it's, it's already it's already sewer at time guys he's absorbing the sunlight i think he runs off a of chlorophyll so that would make sense why he's praising into the sun so gonna be a be an interesting week. I like how you work on it, you're teasing it a little bit and seeing what? different textures, the what ingredients in there, you're inhaling it, the aroma. Did you just say have foreplay with your food? Yeah. When you eat your food and you have a cell phone out or you're having a conversation, you're who not eats even... with their cell phone out? I see so many people. They want to read their Facebook. They, they don't read, read the Facebook. What do you mean? Yeah, but they're missing out. But well, if they wanted eating. to not miss out, they would put down their phone. But you don't. You're taking mm. choice away from people. It's not choice. I'm, I'm saying, Joe, do you know this other choice, like how it feels to actually eat food and be present with the bite, the flavor, how it's making you feel, because then maybe you want to be making some food choices if you are actually Getting intimate feeling. with that food? Yeah. You're going to tease, tease that want, sub a little bit? So part of the intimacy, like a foreplay, yeah. foreplay food? I, I think you were trying to find what? a level of intimacy to make up for your lack of it. That's what I'm saying, yes, because since it was taken yeah, but, away. But you can't see it so broadly. But if you have a good fish, you don't know what it feels like. So that's how we kind of act. We see monkey see monkey do. That's how we know what we like and what's new. People like drugs because it makes them feel a certain way, right? Okay. So what does this have to do with monkey see monkey do? Well, that's monkey see monkey do. No, what is it? That is monkey see monkey do. That's if just you monkey see do drugs. If you feeling really good or, or really hot or like getting someone, like you see someone smart. That's face value. Everyone thinks beyond that. People know they feel good because they're fucking high. But that's not true. A lot of time, <laughs> who, who people would not approach me. People approach me, they're like, yo, what drug you on? And I'm like, I'm sober. There's I'm high on, high on life, about. baby. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I like. Okay. And so besides that. Hey, Omar, sewer rat's here doing sewer rat things. He's talking about getting intimate with food because you put it in you. Oh, shit. <laughs> that is the potential to be buried. But then the thing is, the stuff, the stuff that, that people get into arguments about here never ceases to amaze me, ever. So, on that note, I think we're going to end the vlog here for the week. So, are we getting some chocolate covered strawberries? Oh. Only if we fondue the chocolate and then have a little fountain. Dip the strawberries in it. I want gold too. I want like a gold setter. Gold chocolate. Mm. Sounds, Sounds expensive.